Maximizing Sustainability Evolution, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 219. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 219, June 4th, 2017 edition. Today's focus, today's topic is maximizing sustainability evolution. So let's talk about that. What does that mean? Why would we want to maximize sustainability evolution? Well, the reason why one community thinks we'd want to do that is because if we can maximize the evolution of sustainability, if we can get to the end game of creating sustainability that is easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough that it becomes the mainstream norm for how people want to live then we can create a sustainable planet. And we believe that if enough people are living sustainably, if enough people are working towards maximizing sustainability evolution, then we can create a world that works for everybody. And we think this is possible within our lifetime. And so one community is dedicated itself to maximizing sustainability evolution through open source creation of everything that you see happening here in the background of this video. This is what we're doing. This is what we're creating. And our goal is to open source and free share the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions necessary for replication of everything that you see. Open sourcing and free sharing it so that people can take what it is that we're creating and modify it, adapt it, or replicate it exactly as it is to get the same results that we're designing it all for. And to demonstrate that as a place where people can come and see the maximization of sustainability and evolution of sustainability in one prototype location, which will be one community, where people will be able to come and see the city center, where people will come and be able to stay in the earth bag village and experience what it feels like to live in that environment. So people can come and stay in the straw bale village or the cob village or the compressed earth block village or the shipping container village. And if they like what they experience, if they like how it looks, to take those designs and replicate them as individual homes, if that's their goal, or if they like to really be a part of maximizing sustainability evolution on a global scale, to build a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub themselves. Because our model is designed to accelerate that maximization and that sustainable evolution through making easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating the lifestyle, the way that living in a teacher demonstration hub the experience of living in a teacher demonstration hub as better than the way that most people are living right now. And so if we can demonstrate that easy enough, affordable enough and attractive enough so that that idea will spread on its own, this is how we're maximizing sustainability evolution globally by giving people everything that they need to make an informed decision on whether or not they would like to change the way that they're living from how they're living right now to this new way of living which is built on sustainable infrastructure, which is designed to give them more free time, to provide more abundance, to set them free from the traditional model of working until you're 60 years old and then retiring when the best years of your life are behind you to you know, a minimum lifestyle or hopefully if you've had a successful life up to that point, maybe you can travel the world and do what you want as a retired person. But most people don't have that option until they're into their later years. And we want to provide a model so that people have the time, the freedom, and the abundance to be able to do that right now, and specifically designed so that it shares itself with other people. And so the One Community Model is designed to do all of that. And maximizing sustainability evolution is through the open source foundations and the teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to create additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs all open source and free shared so that people could take what they want, replicate it as individual components or as a complete model. And the more people that do this, the more people that get involved and decide to do it the way that we're doing it, which is, in our opinion, the most effective way to set people free from traditional jobs, to set people free from traditional education, to set people free from the traditional societal models that don't provide them with as much of the time that they would like, as much of the freedom that they would like, as much of the clean air, clean water, chemical-free food 
You know, we have the ability to take control of all of these things. We have the ability to create these things now in such a way that we can breathe clean air, that we can drink clean water, that we can eat food that hasn't been sprayed with poison, that we can have control of our education programs so that we can spend more time with our kids and provide them a better education with a higher teacher to student ratio than traditional education models, even private schooling models, so that we can bring our recreational activities and our social activities all together in one easy place with all of our friends and family there with everything within walking distance and design it such that it provides enough revenue where the lifestyle, the very lifestyle, just like Airbnb right now is inviting people to come and live at their homes, these sustainable communities and villages will invite people to come and experience what those are. And the very lifestyle becomes the commodity. It becomes an ecotourism destination and the more fun and the more pleasure the people that are living there are getting out of the experience of living there, the more others will want to experience it. And so one community is designed to be that. To demonstrate maximizing sustainable evolution as a combination of physical sustainability, which everybody knows about, food, energy, and housing, and combining that with a demonstration of emotional sustainability which we've identified as high good education, fulfilled living practices, high good economic models, and truer stewardship. Creating stewardship hubs where once a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub is built, it is positively impacting everything around it. And if it's participating with one community, it's part of a global movement to create a world that truly works for everyone within our lifetime built on sustainable infrastructure, successful because it's designed to share itself and replicate itself, all open source and free shared, and a place that people can come and experience before they make any decisions on wanting to build something or wanting to replicate the model, so they can come and experience and see the success. And this is what we're designing. This is what everything you see is all about. And the education program, which it's finishing up with right now, is designed to train the people living in these areas to be able to replicate them and for people that aren't interested in replicating them to create the ambassadors of the future, the next generation of children that will come up and lead this world to the planet that we all know is possible. The technology now exists for us to live completely sustainably. All that's needed now are the people to usher in this next great chapter of the human story. And we're here to create the prototype to help teach those people what's needed to do that and to build a civilization built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. And this is what our all volunteer, nonprofit, non-government organization is doing. This is how we're creating world change. This is how we're maximizing sustainability evolution. And now let's jump into one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, everything that we've accomplished in the last week. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, created seven new eco-laundry icons and created this new eco-laundry header image, as shown here. Additionally, we updated the Earthbag Village Living Dome beds render, and created this new Earthbag Village furniture header, as you can see here. The core team also created this new Treehouse Village layout for the Seven Villages online book. We also integrated a new search engine into the Straw Bale Village open source hub, and updated that page with a new table of contents, new formatting, and complete descriptions and introductions for all the photo sections. The core team also continued updating and revising the Earthbag Village open source AutoCAD files, making them clearer and easier to read. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 16th week helping with the Net Zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was adding more details to the related calculations and beginning the process of final renders for the final presentation. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 16th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. 
This week's focus was the initial layout for the piping that will supply the fountains and spigots. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 71 of Dean's work that continued developing the lighting and texture details for renders of the Northwest Residential Wing, as shown here. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 43rd week helping with the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was continued work on the landscaping elevation, textures, and layout details around the meditation labyrinth, as shown here. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the updates to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 furniture and building textures, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team created initial image collages for the City Center DIY pipe furniture tutorial. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, Shunani, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, and Aravin Vasudevan, BA Mechanical Engineering, also continued their work on the City Center Structural Engineering. This week's focus was more wind load calculations, roof design updates, and exploring wood connections and a wood frame option to replace our original plan for steel. Ramya Vudi, Electrical Engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, Electrical Engineer, continued their work on the City Center Electrical Design and Tutorial with Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant. Here are pictures from our weekly collaborative call continuing to discuss and refine the overall layout. Here are pictures of Ramya's work, this week developing the PV Solar Microgrid tutorial behind the scenes. And here are pictures of Shubham's work this week, developing the wind power tutorial behind the scenes. Jin Yu, Structural Engineering Designer, also completed her 15th week of work on the City Center Footers Foundation and Flooring tutorial. This week's focus was writing more content for the waterproofing and workflow sections, some of which you can see in these behind the scenes screenshots. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, helped create this first round of website content for the Eco Laundry page. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created three additional new header images for the food self-sufficiency transition plan page, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes US Common Core standards. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Civilization lesson plan and the Courage lesson plan. This brings us to 24 of 52 finished, which is approximately 46% complete. We also continued working on the renders for the Ultimate Classroom Projection Dome feature. This included using the Projector option of the Lights tool of Twilight Render to generate a couple of renders with different projected images, as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Working with the core team, Ashwin Patel, web developer, also continued helping develop the new search engines that will make our site easier to navigate. This week, we finished the Straw Bale Village search engine and another round of review, edits, and updates to the City Center and Earth Bay Village search engines. You can see some of this work in progress here. Well, there you have it. This is how our team is maximizing sustainability evolution and one week of our accomplishments and progress. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. And last, it's certainly not least, thanks for watching to the end. 
Thanks for the emails. Thanks for the comments. We're an 100% unpaid, all-volunteer staff. Thank you for the donations that we get. They help us to continue to do what it is that we're doing because they cover our web expenses and other expenses associated with a global organization like ours. Uh, thanks for the emails that we get. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.